Stats don't lie. Car crashes continue to be the leading cause of death for children in the United States, but there's an effort here to lower that statistic. A local group was out today to teach drivers how to properly buckle up their kids. Here's KITV4's Brenton Awa. When it comes to keeping your kids safe, attention to detail in the car can be crucial. Securing the right car seat comes first, but with so many choices, how do you choose which one to get? All those seats are safe. They have to be safe in order to be sold. So if you pay more money, you're getting more bells and whistles. You're getting maybe it's easier to install, more comfortable, it looks cuter. Experts say focus on the type of car seat you're buying, not the brand. For instance, whether it's an infant seat, a forward or backward facing seat, or a booster seat. Then comes the hard part, fastening in. So we want the seat tight enough so when you pull it side to side, it doesn't move more than an inch. And then we want to make sure that the harness is snug enough on the child. We weren't sure that we were doing it right, and I think uh, we had heard that 90% of people do it wrong, so we figured it's better to be safe and just come and make sure that we get checked out. And These instructors say children up to two years old should be buckled in facing the back seat. You can turn that car seat around to face forward between the ages of two and five. And when your child gets bigger, use a booster seat until they can properly fit a belt by itself. You want your child to be safe. It's priority number one. And all parents, I think, can agree with that. So, you know, it, it kind of sparked this idea in our minds to get involved and, you know, ensure that all KK are safe. You know, the whole point of any, any restraint, whether it's a seat belt or a car seat, is to keep the person inside the vehicle. Because if you're in a crash, then you're much safer if you stay in the vehicle. Today's event was said to be Hawaii's biggest car seat check. We're told over 100 vehicles passed through the lot at Cutter Chevy in town. This was put on as part of the National Click It or Ticket Enforcement Period. Kenny, back to you.